Hello, I'm going to talk to you about media studies. Media is a large part of our lives. It surrounds us, it can influence us, and it often binds us together. All of us, to some extent or other, engage with the media every single day. But a question I'm often asked is what is the media? Of course, we're talking about social media, but it's also the entire internet, every website and app you visit. It's radio, it's newspapers, and journalism, and all kinds of news. It's television, both streaming and freeview. It's magazines, gaming, console and PC, and all forms of advertising. And of course, the wonderful world of cinema. Whatever, man, it's a trick. <laughs> but please be my guest. Media is any form of communication on a massive scale, which is why it's sometimes called mass media. But why study it? Well, to answer that, I'm going to ask you quite a strange question, and that is, what noise does a frog make? Ribbit. 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 Noise is a frog mate? What kind of frog? The truth is, there are almost 5,000 species of frog on Earth. Some of them hiss, some of them croak, some of them bark. Only one goes ribbit. That one frog is the Californian tree frog. Now, California is the media capital of America. It's where you find most TV and internet companies, and crucially, it's where you'll find Hollywood. It's where most films are made. That means that whenever a film company, like Mr. Disney, needed the sound of a frog, they would take their microphones into the Californian countryside and record this sound. And now, when we think of a frog, we often think of them going ribbit. Who would have thought there was such a thing as frog privilege? But the thing is, if the media can change the way we see a frog, how can it change the way we see other aspects of society? How can it change the way we see teenagers? How can it change the way we see women? The way we see ethnicity? The way we see politics? If you choose to study media, and seriously, why wouldn't you? You will learn about the way it works. How it's constructed to create meanings and messages and we will show you the theories and ideas you need to be able to analyse those messages. But it's also a practical subject, so once you understand the way it works, you'll be given the opportunity to create your own media products using the equipment we have in school to create things such as this. So where can it lead? Well, aside from the fact that the media industry is one of the most successful industries in this country, with lots of jobs available to you, the fact remains that whatever you do for a living, the chances are you will have to engage with the media in some way. Every business, whether small, medium or large, has some kind of media profile, be it their social media or their websites, and understanding the way those work will give you an advantage. Hello Year 8. Why should you pick business over all the other subjects? Firstly, I want you to think about all the things that you've come into contact with since you woke up this morning. So, when you woke up, your bedroom hopefully was warm, you had electricity, you had um, water to go to the toilet, clean your teeth, shower, 
Um, you then probably went down, you had cereal or toast. Um, and then in a normal day, you would have probably come to school on transport. Now, all of these are businesses that you have come into contact with since you woke up this morning. Okay, we don't even think about them, but without them, we can't survive. In Year 9, we do mainly hands-on activities um, throughout the year, where you might be working in groups to develop team working skills and to give you an understanding of how business might work to complete a project. Right, the first term is the Cadbury Challenge, where, as a team, you will create a new product following a brief given to you. You will complete some market research, create the product, design a logo and packaging, advertising and costings as part of your product, so the finance point of view, and you will design a website. Then you will uh, present your product to senior leadership team who will decide on a winner. The second term is all about business concepts. In this term, we teach you about customer service and it's important uh, to businesses, innovation and invention and the differences, tax, what a SWOT analysis is and how it helps businesses, as well as finance and many more concepts. Finally, in the summer term, it's all about recruitment. In the next couple of years, you will have to apply for sixth form and then university, apprenticeships before going to work. At some point, you will have to do an interview, but definitely when applying for work. We help you understand the different processes and what documents are required as you will complete these in lessons. You will then take part in an interview. We give you a business and we give you feedback to help you in the future. All these concepts lead on to GCSE course that we study in years 10 and 11. After GCSE, depending on your success, there is the option in sixth form to either study BTEC or A-level. And then from there, you can then go on to university. Hello Year 8, so why pick the bridging course for health and social care? There are so many reasons to study this course, the biggest being that you can make a difference in someone's life. The current pandemic has highlighted the importance of our health and social care services. The NHS has worked so hard to save lives and help people through this dreadful virus. Secondly, the health and social care sector is the biggest employer in England and approximately 1.6 million people currently work for the NHS. This course is not just for females wanting to study nursing. There are so many different roles in the health and social care sector, including nurses, doctors, GPs, dentists, counsellors, social workers, teachers, paramedics, physiotherapists, and the list is endless. There are approximately 350 different job roles the number of boys also choosing this subject has risen year by year. The aim of the Year 9 Bridging course in Health and Social Care is to give you an insight into some aspects of the health and social care environment. Over the year, you will work on three projects, one per term. The first project will be about the NHS, where it all began and how it's developed. The second will be about the various job roles within the health and social care sector. And thirdly, you will choose a health condition to base your third project on. While studying for this course, you will learn key skills such as organisational and planning skills, communication skills, collaborating with others and research skills. These skills will provide you with the necessary tools to complete the BTEC course in year 10 and 11. The BTEC course is equivalent to one GCSE. Most students, a lot of students, carry on and study this in sixth form too. And they have gone on to study um, at university degrees such as biomedicine, diagnostic radiography and even criminology. So if you want to make a difference in someone's life then this is definitely the course for you. Through Year 7 and 8, you will have done a variety of computing and ICT, but when you get to Year 9, these split into two different subjects, and you can either do computing, you can do ICT, or you can take both. But I want to explain the differences to, uh, to you today to make sure that you know the right option for you. 
If you are thinking of taking computing, you are someone who is interested in what's inside a computer, how it works, how data flows around the system. You'll be also interested in uh, learning how to program. We use Python programming in school. They are, we run a competition called Crafty Computers because we teach you what you need to know about what's inside a computer like these ones here. And we ask you to create a computer for someone of your choice and then you pitch it to judges and there's a prize. We then go on and create a Python text-based adventure story game where you have to, we teach you the skills that you need to know and you have to create a game based on one of the scenarios given to you. Everything that you learn in Year 9 is the foundation knowledge that you need to take at GCSE. This subject has strong links with maths and science. We teach um, binary and hexadecimal, which you'll need to know. This is a really good, fun, enjoyable subject, particularly if you're enthusiastic and want to become a programmer in the future. In Year 9 ICT, you'll be learning about the products that you have to make before a project such as a video or a magazine. You'll create mood boards, visualisation diagrams and storyboards. You'll be learning how to use Photoshop which will help you to create and edit images and we'll study this in detail because this will be something that you will need to learn to use at GCSE. You'll learn about the theory from the Creative Eye Media qualification that you take in years 10 and 11. You will also learn to design a game concept. Now you won't actually create this game, it is the difference between computing and ICT, but you will design a game concept and you will create all the production documents that go with that, such as the storyboards, and you will create some images for that in Photoshop. You must be able to work independently and have a keen interest in using software and finding out ways to create the best products.